Meghan Markle's entry into and then sudden departure from the British royal family has been labeled as a major loss for the crown. It was probably a very complicated situation, the one that Meghan found herself in, royal scribe Jane Marguerite Tippett dished. The institution didn't understand how to deal with a woman, not so much who was divorced, but who had a very independent life, who had had an education, who had lived the first 35 years of her life as someone who called her own shots, called her own story, and they probably didn't come to grips with that in perhaps the most pragmatic way, she added. Tippett continued, it's a loss for the monarchy to not have them because they worked on interesting charities, interesting projects. What's unfortunate though is that they couldn't balance these projects with how to work the system. The most successful royals have been the ones who have been able to gradually adjust rather than demand immediate change. Both Meghan and Prince Harry departed the monarchy in March 2020 after having announced their intentions to step down as working, full-time senior royals two months earlier. Their exit became known as Megxit and made the duo royal rebel stars in their own right before public opinion became evenly divided about them. She is never going to set foot in the grey, cake-filled, miserable UK again if she can possibly help it, royal expert Jan Moyer wrote in August. When it comes to relations between the royal family and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, we're looking at a burnt-out bombsite where a family used to be. Relations are at rock bottom, clemency is in the deep freeze. The outstretched hand has been withdrawn, and the peace pipe has been doused with a thousand duchessy tears. It is over, she added. Despite conflicting reports that reflect how better off the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are without the crown, there are many who claim the Montecito rebels need the royals. This is a couple that went from having deals with Netflix and Spotify, these multi-million pound deals. They were having interviews with Oprah. You couldn't run away from them in the headlines. They were literally everywhere. Everyone was thinking, what are they going to do next? Are they going to bring down the royal family? VR analyst Esther Kraku told an outlet. She continued, that's really all just shattered under their own feet because they really just didn't understand a lot of the fundamental, key characteristics that's made the royal family effectively last this long. Daily Express reported on Tippett's remarks.